Right, so I haven't really got a speech, but I do have a bunch of things that happened this week that I'd like to talk about, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah. This week is stupid! Yeah. It's stupid! <laughs> Absolutely. It's stupid. <laughs> right. Now, before you start, tell us, are you gay or straight? <laughs> No, Do I get no, a question no, points if I'm gay? Yes! Pansexual! Right. I'm going to get away with a lot of stuff then. <laughs> right. So the first one is from the Sunday Times. Parsons Green Tube Bomber told to study Quran during life sentence. <laughs> it gets better. Right, so uh, he's got 34 years in prison and the judge, the judge, told him to learn the true meaning of the Quran as a book of peace. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Mr. Justice Haddon Cave said that Hassan, who was born in Iraq, claimed asylum in Britain, cynically exploited the full generosity and naivety of the system after harboring dark thoughts, right? So, <laughs> I just can't get over this, right? He, he literally said, You will have plenty of time to study the Quran in prison for years to come. You should understand that the Quran is a book of peace. Islam is a religion of peace. He's trolling. Did the judge know that he probably couldn't read? The judge is the ultimate no, no, troll. No, no, he's an intelligent guy, but the thing is, when did our judges become Islamic scholars? Yeah. How does he know? Has he read the Quran? What does he know about Around 2005, apparently. Yeah. It's his name Muhammad. Muhammad. But the reason is, it gets better. The Quran and Islam forbid anything extreme, including extremism in religion. Which maybe wasn't going to tell ISIS this. Maybe, just maybe, he doesn't know what he's fucking talking about. Yeah. Strap a rifle to him and make him charge. Did the judge commit a hate crime by telling a Muslim how to interpret the Quran? Well, it, well, it, it was he a speaks to a larger point there, judge. I mean, brain. How is it in any way his business? But you've got Lord Pearson in Parliament saying, look, we're going to have to start encouraging Muslim groups to issue fatwas against grooming gangs. It's like, <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to actually start implementing Sharia for Muslim communities. So it's going to have to be a double speed le legal system because otherwise, what choice do we have? Well, you think a bulldozer know? to open a fucking door? Exactly. It doesn't it, work. It's unbelievable that this is something that we have to do, but exactly. this is where we find ourselves. You know, personally, I would like to see the outlawing of Sharia courts entirely. Hey, hey. Hey. I think English common law is a universal system that should apply to everyone Everybody. in the country without prejudice, without discrimination, without One choice. One for everybody. Yes. Secularism. Absolutely. Mick Powell. Good to see you again, Rocker. And uh, just to really, just to really uh, nail home the, uh, the judge's thoughts on Sharia law, which are obviously extensive, the Independent reported this week that Saudi women should be able to choose whether to cover their head in a black abaya or just a, a regular head covering. Much progressive, oh, much yeah, progressive. So oh, forward thinking that. So it's like, how would you like to be covered up, ladies? You know, would you like an entire body cover or just something that covers everything but a little bit of your face? They get really weird tan lines. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, this isn't even something that's happened. This is something that should happen. This is just the, I mean, at least it's the crown prince of Saudi Arabia saying, you know, I might want something a little more progressive, but don't go too far, mate. You know. step at a time. Yeah, <laughs> you know, calm down. But, um, yeah, the laws are very clear and stipulated in the laws of Sharia, that women wear decent, respectful clothing like men. Well, again, that's a bit subjective. It's like a hate speech laws. That could be anything that you interpret it to be. And mini skirts are great. Well, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't show don't show any skin, you bloody Wearing too heart. much is offensive. <laughs> Honestly, what? That's, that's not modest, is it? <laughs> How can I be expected to control myself if you wear a miniskirt? Honestly. Oh, you're blaming the victim oh, now! I can see loads of flesh. H&M, oh, this is a great thing. You're not asking for it. Are you sure? Brilliant thing. <laughs> can I just say, cardigans are a timeless classic. <laughs> Um, what happened to nudity? That was the good thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's get Them clothes. <laughs> if you're living in the desert, you right probably now. don't want to be nude, especially with your complexion. It's for your own good, mate. Get that bar on. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know, I love it. <laughs> Naturally, which side do you think Jeremy Corbyn was on on this argument? No. The, the wrong, wrong one! one. Oh. Well, it's interesting you say that, because that's where we're going. 
Uh, so the Times reported this week that Jeremy Corbyn's drive for tolerance has unsurprisingly <laughs> given a platform to extremists. Calm Man, down, I know you're shocked. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn with extremists, enemies of Britain, Islamists, terrorists, no. <laughs> Fucking perish the thought. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. He's banned from gold as green. He's banned from where? Gold as green. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's one place now. So, uh, They're banning from Islington th This as well. was um, a campaign against Islamophobia <laughs> that was launched in Parliament by Jeremy Corbyn that gave a, that gave a platform to supporters of Jihad. That's really fucking tolerant, Jeremy. Good job. Yeah, fuck yeah. So, um, the Islamophobic Awareness, uh, Islamophobia Awareness Month uh, was celebrated in council buildings, universities and schools and featured extremist speakers. For example, a man called, um, oh, they don't actually list his name, but a defender of Jihadi John, the famous English accented jihadi who was uh, in the video cutting off a man's head in Syria. He's just a poor soul. Well, he didn't do nothing because he was apparently a beautiful young man. Oh. Didn't do fucking Isn't nothing. Isn't homosexuality he, banned in the Quran? How can you, how can yes, you, of course it is. How can you tell he's beautiful? Okay, so how the fuck does that work? But it's, he might be beautiful and gay. <laughs> so do they both get thrown off a roof then? <laughs> <laughs> police, police. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going to accuse me of racism? Wait, yeah. like <laughs> memes. The memes. You're a racist. He's too the brown for you. The memes are too spicy. <laughs> the memes are too spicy. We've got. <laughs> so you're being racist yourself. Actually, yes. <laughs> So uh, obviously this was done by a group called Muslim Engagement and Development, a lobbying organisation. Muslim Engagement? That's not tomorrow. <laughs> I can't say anything about it. You're black, I can't. You, you... <laughs> Sounds like a militia. I'm too militia pale, militia. I can't say that. But um, a lobbying organisation whose senior figures included a campaign who supported killing British soldiers and whose activists have made statements regarded as anti-Jewish. Oh! Imagine my shock. fucking shock! Make up your own world. Well, that's because they were purged. We've yeah. got that was in the Quran. Maybe, cool. maybe Matey Boy will learn about that in prison. Yeah. He'll, come out a, he'll come out as a real pro-Israel guy, won't he? <laughs> so, um, the campaign gave mainstream respectability to individuals with high-profile extremist histories, according to the Henry Jackson Society. The hate preacher Shaquille Begg starred at an event fucking for I Am at Department De Deptford Lounge, a community centre owned by the London Borough of Lewisham. <laughs> the evening was arranged by Stand Up to Racism campaign. <laughs> Mr Begg was found by a judge to be an extremist for saying that violence in support of Islam would constitute a man's greatest deed for endorsing a fatwa and that it is a religious duty for Muslims to be hostile to or hate non-Islamic states. Yes. This True. is being sanctioned by the people at the top. They are the ones organising it in your universities, in your councils and in your schools. This is the problem that we have to deal with. And by the way, you're all racist. Hey, hey, that's why I shouldn't attend. Out. You want to, you want to <laughs> I drive a race car. I'm a yes, yes, I am. Great. <laughs> so, um, yeah, honestly, I'm not going to continue reading this article. It's actually pissing me off. Um, <laughs> did you find it most offensive? I did. Reported to police immediately. <laughs> so, um, weirdly, this is it's it's all it's amazing how much you see this time and time again. So, the women's march in the United States. I'm sure you've all heard of it. Massive march led by Linda. Nobody cared who I was until I put on a hijab and asked for women's vaginas to be taken away. So I saw. <laughs> <laughs> so progressive. And you're going to be surprised to learn that a bunch of their top staffers are leaving the organisation because of anti-Semitism. Well, guess <laughs> yeah. Imagine my shock. Oh, Thank you. He needs to make up his own one. <laughs> what What's wrong with you? I love apple juice, tomato juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. So um, apparently their speaker, Tamika Mallory, attended a rabidly anti-Semitic speech by the Nation of Islam leader yeah. who railed against the Jewish community with conspiratorial uh, claims that they ran the government. Didn't see that coming. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's the conspiracy? 
Jewish. You're Jewish. You're part of it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you keep quiet now, don't you? <laughs> Where's my show money? <laughs> this, this is actually great, right? So he accused the Jewish community and governments of the United States and Mexico of spreading the use of marijuana to feminize black men. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to Bob Marley! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's not part of the culture, it's a Jewish conspiracy. <laughs> right. Louis Farrakhan, is it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, it just gets worse. So Farrakhan gave out a shout, to Ma a shout out to Mallory, who sat in the audience for his three hour rant about Jewish people. <laughs> we must find a Jewish woman. Like, well, stupid sexy Jews, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're fucking fucking. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Again, I, I'm just going to stop this one because it's kind of pissing me off. And because there's an ambulance coming by. You think it's an ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, I think mean, not. Right, I didn't know that. It's interesting. Um, well, it depends what he's doing. I mean, you know, I'm against them banning someone like Lauren Southern for speaking, but she's not inciting terrorism. So it depends what the... I'd have to look into it, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it's cool to be banned from the UK at this point. Well, yeah. yeah well, the, All well, the cool kids are doing it. Well, you, you <laughs> say... You're fucking <laughs> There are a lot of Islamists who aren't on the ban list, aren't there? So, you know... They're not cool enough. So, uh, the next Labour leader, according to Harriet Harman... Hitler? Should be... Well, <laughs> would be a fucking improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean Stalin? <laughs> 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 Harriet Harman wants the next Labour leadership contest to be women only. Well, yeah, Di Diane Abbott's going to win that. But what, about about traps? Traps? what about a trans woman? Yeah. Well, that's uh, actually a. <laughs> it's open up for debate. <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah, that is actually part of the debate they're going to have to have about that. <laughs> so, you know, basically, lads, we can just claim to be chicks for a day. But the thing is, what the, the problem that I have with this is not just that it's discriminatory against men. But women, you should have a problem with this too, because she's literally saying, you can't compete. That's what she's saying. When they need an all-woman only shortlist, they're saying, you are not good enough. I'm offended by that. Exactly. And when they're offended. And if, it's, I mean, Labour's, it's not like they don't have a history of this. How many categories of women do you think will compete? Well, that's a good question, I have no idea. But the, the thing is, is, they do this constantly. They're literally, it's this kind of, this kind of condescending sort of, honestly, you could call it patriarchal nature of it, where they're sitting there saying, right, okay, white men, they can pay full price. Yeah, of course. Brown people, they're poor. Yeah. They're not capable. That's they can't do these things. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But this is the thing, they just, it's all assumption and it's all coming from a position of superiority on their part because the people who organise this are obviously white people. It's like, so uh, literally that's, I mean, her comment is literally, the men can jostle amongst themselves to be the deputy. It's like, oh yeah, you're not man-haters, you're, you're, but you're not man-haters, got it, right, okay. Do you Understood. think it could possibly be because she's the only somewhat competent? Woman in Harriet Harman? Yeah. That's a somewhat generous <laughs> assessment. Did she make a Jew joke? <laughs> Compared to most of the women in Labour Party. Like, what do you mean by competence? She advocated for paedophiles for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, but oh, yeah, like the like young man said, look at a competition. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's um... <laughs> Kathy Newman for PM. What you're saying. Lobster lives matter, that's all I'm saying. Yay! Discrimination, discrimination. I like eating lobster. Yeah, so I'm saying, yeah. It's got to be Diane Abbott, come on. Diane Abbott's got um, But li literally, I mean, her statement is, I think we should... <laughs> I think we have to be quite clear about this and basically say that there are lots of fantastic men in the Labour Party who'd be more than capable of being leader. There's no doubt about that. I think the men should be measured by the length of your cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, any length is too much length, no, apparently. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, yeah, but it doesn't matter. If you've got a cock, you're out of the running. Even though, like she says, there are lots of fantastic and capable men. Not that there are, but not in the Labour Party anyway. But this is the point. It's, it doesn't matter. It's about categories. It's about making sure you play by their rule book and them having dominance over you. That's all this is about. And you're going to be, if you're a Labour voter, which I'm sure very few of you guys are. No, 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 no. 
ex-Labour voters maybe, yeah. but uh, it's all about fashion. making sure that you are like whipped into action, you're whipped into the uh, into line. It's just what they want to do. But this has uh, a negative consequence because in the law, gender is a protected characteristic. And I don't even mind that actually, that's fine. Because uh, as Newsweek report here, a man has won $390,000, a man from Australia, because he was uh, discriminated against in favour of a female colleague who was, was a backpacker. Basically, he was he was way more qualified than her, but she got the promotion anyway. And a court in Australia, uh, oh sorry, Austria, not Australia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, look, it's it, honestly risky business. It's, it's going to be both at one point. But, One's uh, Joseph Fritzl, the other's Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. The case, obviously, this this case has been going on for seven years, so it's nice to see that the guy won it. But uh, it was the Austrian Minister of Transport, Innovation and Technology, led by a social democrat politician who's currently the second president of the country's parliament. Now, I read that because this is important. This is literally social justice nonsense at the very top of countries. This is the power and influence they have. I mean, who are you guys? You're not in parliaments, are you? You know. You're not in Parliament, you're just regular people who have seen all of this happening and have had the effect on your lives directly. The people in the top all agree with this and now they're using this for their own benefit. They're using this specifically to discriminate against each one of you. There's nothing you can do. Meritocracy. Oh, the fuck we've got meritocracy. <laughs> that's gone, that is gone. In fact, the reason that this guy's suing is because that's gone. <laughs> Literally, the um, let me find the thing. So yeah, three candidates came forward and they were all judged to be highly qualified for the role, but this other woman got it. Even though this guy was rated 25% uh, uh, higher than her, she was still selected for diversity reasons, presumably. And uh, finally, we have a wonderful piece from the Huffington Post. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I saved this to no, last because I knew I'd get a groan like that. <laughs> I work for that. Really? I, I drank soy on a live stream and got employed. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the American one, it's the UK one, which incidentally has offices in London. Oh. Um, I, I can honestly hardly believe the title. It's, it's a direct call for censorship. Get these far-right extremists off their online platforms. Fake news. Resisting hate. Naturally, it's a picture of Tommy Robinson that they have. Yeah, yeah. The only way to tackle the stem of the flow of extremism and abuse on social media is to tackle it at the source. Now, what well, might... press the block button. Yeah, exactly. But no, but what, no, but that's not the problem. Their problem is that they're being heard. That's the problem. Like Tommy put up a video the other day, million views. They can't have that. They can't have millions of people hearing a dissenting opinion, which is why they literally are just calling for them to be censored. That's it. That's their end goal. They just don't want you to speak. And that's because you are doing damage to their control over the narrative. And it's this narrative that has to be broken. This is what everyone, like everyone sharing stuff, posting stuff on social media, you might end up in jail, but it's, it's doing good. It. It's exactly. In every social movement, there will be people who get in trouble with the ruling authorities. You are challenging their power directly. There is no choice. <laughs> that it's going to happen. I'm probably going to end up arrested one day. Let's be fair, you probably are. Let's Everyone start the Kickstarter now! We've got campaigns on the 1st of April, Nazi pug means on social media. 1st of April, because we've got okay. extra protection. Would you support that? Of course I, won the, support I, won the pack, I made a pay to liberalism. The idea is to sell. Oh, oh, nice to meet and you. And I'm nice the one that stitched two, well, 200 guest lists that yeah. on over three days. That awesome. was me, but I couldn't make it. Dude, I'll, de I'll definitely no, support Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So, when, when you get arrested, <laughs> which prison will you go to, male or female? <laughs> <laughs> he Don't can let them assume your gender! He can change his mind any time he likes, it doesn't matter. I think my wife would probably prefer to go to a male one. Yeah, but I'll get in the death of my wife for the next 20 years. It's not worth it. <laughs> Of course they will. Of course the fucking Guardian is going for that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you can hold it like you have one of the
but I mean, but we don't like it. It's, it's hardly proportional. But um, <laughs> about three sets. <laughs> <laughs> It normally is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic absolution Breaking the reality Breath the concept set for me Of all humanity Fuse the semblance born A breath of insurgence All flat on the universe And come to cosmic